What's going on everybody? Welcome to my new playthrough of Siren 1. That's right, the very first game in the series. Now since I've played the second game, I might as well continue on and play the other two games in the series. As you might know, I was starting a playthrough of, let's see, Dreadout, I believe it was called. Unfortunately, because of problems with the 64-bit system and the game itself, I kind of had to cancel it because I'm not going to put up with that shit anymore. And if the devs want to be lazy about it, then fuck them. So, I'm just going to carry on and play this game. And, yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> uh, not really. I have played a chunk of this game back then, but it was really quite difficult and I've been having some problems with it. But, I will be playing the full game this time as well as getting all the archive items like I have in Saren 2. That should be very exciting, as you all well know, because I did mention my Saren 2 playthrough that in order to keep these items, you have to actually beat the stage again. You can't just exit out of it. So, Saren 1, although it does work similar to Saren 2 in many ways, it also has its own quirks and different gameplay styles. And we are going to have to get used to those pretty fast, because this game is merciless and it will beat you down and just continue to beat you while you're on the ground writhing and crying so yeah i'm really kind of nervous about this but hey i should be at, i should at least be able to get through a lot of the game without too much trouble so like like before if i keep missing archive items i will go back and get all of them i promise you okay it's going to be hell but i'm going to do it anyway so, one thing you should know about Saren 1 right away is that there is no option to use Japanese dubs. And let's see, get this crap out of the way. Yeah, there are no Japanese dubs. This game is notorious for having a pretty shitty English dub. So, you know, that's one reason I believe that people didn't give this game much of a chance. Also, there's obviously the fact that it's very difficult sometimes, so I don't see many complete playthroughs of this game on YouTube, and it makes me sad, so I'm just going to change that and see if I can do everything that I can in the game. I don't know all the extras I need to get, but I will do my best to find them all if I'm not, if I'm not traumatized by the end of this game, then yeah, I'll do that. So without further ado, let's get started with this playthrough. <sighs> what is she doing? What are they doing? Oh, it's the middle of the night. Who's there? Huh? Who is it? So that would be Kyoyasuda. Hold on. Damn, why is it all scrunched up? Anyway, yeah, this game operates uh, mostly the same way as Siren 2. You'll get missions, you'll get second missions, and all that jazz. One thing you do need to know, though, you know, 
is that this game does not give you the ability to use the link navigator right away. You have to it forces you to play, you know, a set of missions and will wait until you complete a certain amount before it gives you the ability to use the link navigator. So, that confused me a lot at first and I did not like it at all, but that is what we're going to have to do. So, let's see. Kyoya Suda's first mission would be to escape from the police officer. Right. So let's go ahead and do that. What? Why? No! Oh, oh my god! It's He's coming! Ah! What the fuck is he, Silver the Hedgehog? Anyway, we're gonna let him fall down. Uh oh. God damn it. So he's supposed to drop something. Here we go. Oh, we got a flashlight. Tetsuo Ishida's police ID. Eh, let's get out of here. Unlike in Saren 2, we cannot do an awesome crouch run. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, we got some keys here. We're gonna have to pick it up with the list menu, unlike the. Just a simple button prompt in Saren 2. Okay, so we got another archive. Awesome! We're doing great so far. We can't sidejack just yet. We're just gonna go out here. We're not actually escaping from the police officer, we need to run him over with this truck, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, come on. There you go, unlock the door. I don't know, it seems pretty bright already. Oh yeah, and this game will lag quite a bit, so I hope you're ready for that. Although, I think my resolution's downscaled. Insert the key... Start the engine. Oh shit! You kind of missed there. And that will be a downfall. Yeah, we don't get to drive the truck. Just watch a cutscene. There you go. Mission accomplished. Excuse me? Are you okay? Hello? Oh, oh my god! What do I do? Call an ambulance? Oh! An earthquake! I love the facial animations in this game, but in case you guys kind of missed that, the police officer was not a Shibito since we first encountered him. It's not until we ran him over that he turned into one, so a bit of a twist there that I had no idea about until I did some research. Let's go ahead and save our game. You just connected with me, didn't you? 
You can see visions. Relax. Although I guess that's easier said than done. Are you all right? I, I, I just got shot, but... I understand. Listen, you have to come with me. You're not safe here. Follow me. Okay, so we saw this woman back at the ritual, but it seems she's she's a she's an okay person. And Kyoya survived the gunshot somehow and the fall. This red water is now coursing through your veins, in place of all the blood you lost. You have the water to thank for your recovery. I know you're still shaky. But you will be better soon. I'm so relieved. It was any more. Anyway, we must hurry now. Close your eyes. Relax. Okay, sight jacking. For me, in your thoughts. So in this game, sight jacking is a little less convenient because. We cannot lock on to alerted enemies and, let's see what else, we can't lock on to enemies that are nearby. We have to use the analog stick at all times. I think we can assign them to a slot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can. Awesome. So at least we have that. Other than that, it's usually the same way it goes in Siren 2. There you go. Damn it. They are no longer human. Be careful. It will be a while until you can move freely. Please follow me. Creates more noise and walking, thus attracting the attention of enemies. Okay. So with instructions head to Kaduwadi. Oh yeah, here's something else. The map. I don't know many other games that do this, but it gives you the map, but it doesn't tell you where you are. It just gives you the starting point and key structures. So you're just going to have to reference from what you see in the map itself to what you see in this 2D map and try to navigate through. So Kadawari is on the other side of this map, but it's pretty simple. We just have to follow her. Wait here. Come over when I call you. Okay. I'm concentrating on our surroundings, so I can't watch over you the whole time. Eventually, you'll be able to feel me calling you. Okay, calling me. There's a dude with a gun out there. Come on, Kyoya, what's wrong with you, man? Someone is looking over this way. Keep down and we'll get through this. Oh yeah, crouching. You can't I already said you can't crouch run, but you are also really fucking slow when you're crouch walking, so. There is that too. Just crouching by. I really need to set my analog stick back to normal instead of reverse. Excuse me? I can't do it alone. 
No, of course you can't. Did you hear that? So we're gonna have to help her up. Pretty simple. Use the list menu to do that. Yeah. Oh fuck! Damn it! I forgot about that. You're gonna have to be very careful. Just turn around and immediately use the. Chill out, girl. Hello? Nope. Just pull her up. There you go. Yeah. Really need to change this. Over here. Okay, that should be it. Just go down this path and we're good to go. And leave Isako behind? Uh... Well, hurry up then. Hooray! I don't know if there's anything else to accomplish in that specific mission, but hopefully not. Okay, we're gonna save the game. Professor? What is this place? Where are we? I just don't get it. What's going on? I told you to wait in the car. But, but what's happening? What is this? Why is this happening? This is exactly why I told you not to come. Professor, we need to find the villagers. They must be panicking. <sighs> Please shut up. What, what is this? Oh my god. From now on, you will do exactly as I tell you. What? Until I call you, keep your eyes closed and stay still. Do you understand? Okay, come on. Uh, uh, okay. Uh. So this is Tamon Takeuchi, who is the second best character in the game, solely because of his fantastic fucking hair. And, um, what else? Oh, he was smart enough to bring a gun. There's that too. So we're going to reach the road to Katawari with Yoriko Ano. I can complete this mission very quickly, but for the sake of unlocking other missions, we're going to have to do some stuff. Or wait, do we? We could probably do it in the second mission, but... Uh, let's do it the normal way instead of the speedrun way. So Fuck it. I'm supposed to concentrate and listen to your voice. Well, I'm seeing something kind of strange. I am also seeing something kind of strange. And that is your face. <laughs> okay, so we do have a gun, that's awesome. We have ten bullets. That should be more than enough for what we have to do. Um what was I gonna do otherwise? Options. There we go. Normal. There you go. So, let me try and remember some things we have to do. First, we need to go to lower ground. This is something that I've had to go back and do, and I did not like it one bit. We need to go down to... Damn it, I can't point it out here. But you see the long gray vertical line? There is a little square next to that rounded rectangle there in the middle. We need to go there and like turn a valve. At least I... Yeah, we have to do it here. Pretty sure. But let's go down and do that. Yoriko will wait for us in the starting point. Now see, this game doesn't look very great either, but unlike Dreadout, it was released during the PS2 era, in fact, pretty early on. 
So, hey, Dread Out, it's 2015, get your shit together. So here we go. Uh, wait a minute. Perhaps we can't do it yet. Tightly secure with a chain and padlock. Hmm. I wonder if there's a key around here. Or if I have to get it someplace else and then come back. <laughs> okay, so there is a guy with the rifle and he is the... He's the big dude here. <laughs> he can cause a lot of trouble. Okay, where in the fuck am I going? We need to go back up the cliff face here. We can... Right. That's confusing at first. I guess we can go back and bring Yoriko. We do need her with us anyway, so fuck it. Come here. That's a Takeuchi. I've been waiting for ages. Oh, shut up. What are you doing? Shut up. Okay, so there's a dude up here. We're gonna have to be careful about. He has a gun as well. Or maybe he's not here. Okay, I'm remembering things wrong. Now oh, here comes a lag. Sorry about that. Uh. Nothing I can do about it. Now here we go. Okay, so let's see here. We went through the bridge. And I think we're here. But we need to go up one more and go to the house just above. So let's see. Let's go up this way. <sighs> Damn! Fucking missed. So it works similar in the second game where you have to aim for a longer amount of time if you want better accuracy, as well as keeping the light on. Let's reload our fucking gun. What we need to do is get ourselves a radio in here. Go ahead and pick it up. Um, nothing of your fucking concern. An old album, nothing about it. It does stand out quite a bit. I thought that was an archive item. Woman. So we, we need to go down to a well, I believe. Um, where the fuck is it? Is it down here? Here it is. Let's go ahead and pull it up, pull up the bucket. We need to distract the Shibuto with it, basically. And then, you will see what happens next. But this is required for a later mission. In fact, two later missions, I believe. Huh? <laughs> fuck that! Put it in the bucket and lower it back down. So we're just gonna hide and basically wait for him. However, he does need to revive.
Okay, let me see if I can sight check him. Okay, I believe this is the guy. He's finding something pretty funny. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for him to just patrol back to the well. And then we'll just push him in. Hopefully he doesn't see us. Oh god. Oh god, Yoriko, damn it! Oh shit! Fucking unbelievable. I can't believe it, this is awesome. Just sneak up and shoot his ass. Beautiful. Lovely. It's gonna go down that damn well. <laughs> Alright, Yoriko, chill out. Okay, we've got three more as well as five in our actual gun. Let's go ahead and climb up here. I don't think there's anything else. I might be wrong. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, but right now I can't just... I can't just look up the archives and shit. Let's make sure the sniper guy is... at bay. I think there is another guy up there with a the revolver. Oh, I can't find anyone. Oh shit, I thought Shibuto was behind her. Good lord. Okay, so that should be it. Went pretty smoothly. Now remember, like I said, if you fucking die after doing like specific things in the mission, then you have to do everything all over again. So, yeah. Anyway. It's not a dream. Am I going crazy? Okay. What do we do now? All we can do is wait here until Makino and the others arrive. Oh, are you... Is this a place of worship? I mean, it kind of looks like one, but it's different from the other ones I've seen. It may seem strange, but this is our faith. Oh. Well, I don't know anything about religion. It must be a sign. Outsiders like you don't normally possess the sight. Right. Huh? <gasps> I'll go and see what's going on. Okay guys, so it's pretty much 30 minutes now, so I think this is a good place to stop for now since these are the first two episodes that I'm going to be recording. I don't want to make it too long since I am on a tight schedule, so let's overwrite this and... Okay, it's waiting for a prompt. That's good. So I'm just going to stop right here and get right to the next episode. So like the video if you like the idea of me suffering through this game and I'll see you in the next part. Alright, fuck you. Run! Yes! You missed. I'm just gonna run around blindly.